We are live. Welcome to the Galaxy Man Show, everyone. I am here with. I'll let you introduce yourself and explain a bit about uh, what you do. Yeah. Hi, guys. Uh, my name is Emma Critchell. I'm an actress and makeup artist and also a YouTuber. My partner and I have our own YouTube channel called Headspace Films, and we review all things movies and TV shows. Awesome. Uh, so we'll dive right into the questions, Emma. So what? Uh, so you're in this um, film coming out soon called Attack of the Cat People, and you play a character called J Janet uh, Reeds. What can people expect from the film, and what can people expect from Janet? So Janet is your typical uh, damsel in distress, I would say. <laughs> um, and we, with this film, we are tributing the old black and white uh, classic noir horror films. Um, you know, those real uh, cheesy, but so much fun horror. Um, and yeah, Janet is one of those real dramatic characters, always fainting, so <laughs> she's a lot of fun. Um, and yeah, it's, it's a very unique film. You're not gonna see anything like this at the moment. So I'm, I'm really excited for people to see what we've done. Awesome. Uh, and so for my next question, what was the experience like filming Attack of the Cat People? It was a lot of fun. It was challenging. Um, we did have a few <laughs> issues with uh, the climate. <laughs> uh, weather was always against us, I think. Um, but look, it was a very fun shoot and we had a great team. Um, we made some really good friendships on, on on that film so um yeah I, I think it was just overall a lot of fun yeah awesome uh and so for my next question emma who inspired you to get into acting so i, I don't know if i can pinpoint anyone in particular because i i love so many actors and creatives and i think just from a very very young age i was just engaged with anything movies um so i think i just i just wanted to be involved so i can't remember someone specifically that i was like i want to be them um it was just i just loved movies in general so i just knew i had to to get in somehow yeah <laughs> awesome uh and so for my next question uh when you saw the cat people on set what was your reaction like um i thought they looked very cool um and i also felt a little bit sorry for them because we were filming in some pretty cold weather and they didn't wear a lot so <laughs> i felt sorry for them a lot um they didn't always have shoes on so yeah <laughs> they looked awesome though they yeah they put a lot of hard work in to those characters so yeah i'm very proud of what those guys did awesome uh and so for my next question if you could be in any tv or movie franchise what would it be and why well, <laughs> that list could go on, but I think um, if they were still making them, I would have to be in Harry Potter because Harry Potter is just my life. Um, or Lord of the Rings. Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings were just, that was my childhood. Um, so I guess, um, you know, for this day and age, I guess Fantastic Beasts would be awesome because um, it's the next closest thing to Harry Potter and I would absolutely die to be on the new Lord of the Rings TV series that is coming out soon. So uh, whether that's acting or makeup, I think I'd actually really love to get on the makeup team for that. That would be just phenomenal. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Uh, and so basically, uh, next question, um, what if someone wants to get into acting, what advice would you give the, give them? And what are the positives and negatives into the acting industry? And how do you get over those negatives? So, um, I guess the biggest uh, tip I could give would be to network. I mean, you can do all the training in the world, um, but unfortunately, a lot of the time it does come down to who you know. So, network, network, network um, is a massive thing. Um, keep up with your training. Also, another thing that I wish I uh, sort of come to real realization of um, a lot sooner too was if you love movies um, and you just and you want to be in the film industry in general. Um, yes, you may be an aspiring actor or actress, but have a think if there's any other department in the film industry that you might 
be intrigued by because I've certainly found since I've gone down the makeup route in the film industry, I've suddenly got a lot more work, uh, both obviously for makeup and acting. All of a sudden I'm now getting more acting work. So, um, and I think it does come down to because you're networking, you're being more involved with, with production. So your name's getting out there. So definitely have a think if there's any other areas of the industry that you might um, be interested in um, and see if that's another foot in the door for you. Don't just kind of put, your, put all your eggs in one basket and, and it's just acting. I mean, great, still absolutely go for that goal, but maybe to help you along, is there something else in the industry that you have skills that you could maybe apply to to sort of take a bit of a detour route into it? Yeah. <laughs> Um, oh, and your other, your other question was positives and negatives. Um, so I guess negative would be, it is a very, it is a tough industry to crack. Um, and I guess you've got to be prepared to hear the word no a lot. Um, and you've definitely got to have a thick skin because you're obviously not going to get every, every job. Um, so it, it can take a toll on your mental health. So be prepared for that, but also don't take it to heart if you don't get a job because um, a lot of the time it's got nothing to do with you personally. It's just they've got a certain look in mind or, or whatever. So just, uh, yeah, that, that can be a downside to it. The, the positive is it is so much fun. You meet some incredible people, some very talented people out there, and um, you can make lifelong friendships um, through, through this industry. So, yeah. <laughs> Awesome. Well, can I just say thank you so much, Emma, for joining uh, my show. Uh, it means so much. Everyone, definitely go give Emma the amazing support and definitely go check out uh, Attack of the Cat People when it comes out. So I just want to say thank you again, Emma, uh, and it was a pleasure to have you on my show. Thank you so much, Jacob. Thanks for having me. And everyone go support um, our film. You must always support Aussie-made films because we need all the help we can get. And they're awesome. We've got some great filmmakers out there. See, a horrible mutation that goes horribly wrong. A heartwarming romance between a scientist and the love of her life. A mutation that starts stalking a group of scientists on a secret mission. Will they survive? Attack of the Cat People, starring Peter O'Hanlon as Captain John Baker, Jessica Hamm as Diana Lawrence, John Gorman as Dr. Elliot, Wayne Bassett as Dr. Fraser, Emma Cuchell as Janet Reeds. Watch, who will survive the terrible events? Attack of the Cat People, a film so unbelievable and terrifying you won't be able to watch it alone.